episode 173. Increase your quality of thinking to improve your quality of life. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilsa. And if my calculations are correct, it should be hump day. <laughs> Welcome to the very best podcast in the world. Your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. So um, uh, today I'm going to go uh, butt naked without notes because uh, this episode I think is self-explanatory and really um, in, uh, in many ways uh, a reference to uh, the episode, I think it's 140, which is the most listened episode on the podcast where uh, I think the title was something along the lines of existence without negativity. So, uh, but before we get started, um, here's our daily get on your nerves, uh, housekeeping. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. So, <laughs> so, uh, as always sharing is caring and I'm never going to get tired of reminding you of that. Uh, so, you know, get used to it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, if an episode like this, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily, uh, resonate with you entirely, but you know, maybe, um, uncle Bob is, you know, kind of like the negative Nancy, uh, share this episode with uncle Bob. And, uh, if your niece, um, you know, Rachel <laughs> is a negative Nancy, share it with them, right? It's about, um, essentially reframing, um, you know, the, uh, the perception of the present moment, which is quite easy to do. So without further ado, and assuming that you are all loyal subscribers, if not, you know, pause this recording, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you can't find it on your favorite podcasting platform, please write me an email to, uh, the very best podcast in the world at gmail.com. Now, about positivity and negativity and how it can influence your life or your quality of life, more to say. Uh, I think it's quite logical. There's two ways to perceive pretty much anything and to reframe your perception of the present moment. And uh, not only that, but uh, to, you know, positively influence your perception of the past and more and most importantly to influence positively your vision of your future right um so with that being said let's stay in in the in the present moment for a while because we are there right you're listening to um this uh this episode of the very best podcast in the world and um one of the things that always comes to my mind when it's, you know, kind of like the uh, positivity and negativity of life and the two ways to look at a situation is, um, you know, I live in probably one of the most rainy regions in Central Europe. And um, so one of the bad things about that is, is that it rains, right? But it's good for nature, which is good. You know, I don't need to be out in the rain necessarily on very few occasions. And Stevie, our loyal co-host, can't be fucking bothered to go outside if it's raining because then his pooty locks would get all wet and, you know, he doesn't really enjoy that a lot. So he can go a long way without taking a piss. Um, but that being said, um, when I went to... Uh, the Asian countries, um, in the, my, in my first trips there, you know, it was like, Ooh, it's raining out. Right. And then you get forced to go outside for some reason and the rain is warm and it's actually quite pleasant to feel the rain because it means that, you know, everything's going to cool down a bit, at least for a moment. Right. 
uh, but the moisture on your on your skin, so it is exposed, you know, will actually lead to you cooling down. And then, you know, the sun comes back out and dries off and you feel better somehow in a weird way, right? But I never was able to make that association previously because I lived in Central Europe where, you know, if this climate change thing, uh, you know, means that the temperatures we're now experiencing, you know, it's the end of May and we still have the fucking fireplace running because otherwise, you know, it would get too cold in the house. Um, I don't want any part of it. However, you know, it led me to grow up with the assumption that rain is unpleasant because in Central Europe, if it rains, the rain is usually cold uh, most of the year <laughs> or, or it's so fucking cold that it's snow, uh, which is, you know, more pleasant. But, you know, at the end of the day, what it means is that you have a largely negative association with rain, right? And coming back, you know, from, from Asia, I was like, yeah, you know, okay, it's raining. So what, you know, it's good for nature. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be a bit unpleasant for, you know, the moment I have to walk through the rain, not really comfortable. Then I started wearing glasses a few years ago that really fucks things up. Uh, but overall I see, uh, yeah, it's raining, you know, I can deal with it. There are people, however, you know, that are like, oh, <laughs> it's raining. I don't want to go outside. I get cold and miserable and whatever not. And, you know, it's like looking at it from two different perspectives, teaching, you know, giving me a new insight into this phenomenon in particular was my, were my frequent stays in Asia where, you know, or central Asia where, you know, rain comes, it's warm told you the whole bit, right? So, um, that in itself, you know, because rain is a big thing, increased my quality of life because I applied the same methodology to, um, pretty much everything, right? Uh, it's like, um, ever since I, I met my better half, I don't have bad luck anymore, right? Uh, because I'm so happy in the relationship that I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, so shit happens. It's obstacles right? It's challenges. It's not problems, right? Uh, that are thrown at me. They're challenges to overcome challenges of life, right? And, uh, you know, God forbid that any one of us ever got sick. It's a fucking challenge to fucking deal with, right? <laughs> this ain't Canada, right? <laughs> so it's like how you actually, um, deal with, you know, situations, uh, and how you actually phrase them, right? Uh, when you go, I, I have a problem with this, it's automatically got this negative connotation in your head, right? Uh, and that will inevitably attract more problems because your thinking is going to go down this downward, um, going to go down this downward spiral. I think, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, uh, instead of saying, Hey, you know, there's a challenge, let's face it. Right. Uh, it's this constant discussion, uh, you know, with, um, people who are, you know, all of these big planners, right. You know, and, uh, I'm planning my day three days ahead and my week and my month and my year and my decade and whatever problem is, you know, there are about a gazillion factors, which you cannot account for, which nobody can. Right. And so your vision of the future, you know, keep it cloudy, but keep it straight. Right. Um, you know, if your vision of the future is that in 10 years, you want to be, you know, um, ultimately rich or whatever, good on you, but, you know, don't plan too far ahead because there are about a billion things that can go wrong, which you haven't really thought of and which nobody can. Now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> you know, let's get back to the positive things, right? Um, so whatever situation gets thrown at you in life, right? Don't treat it as a problem or don't treat it like the world is against you, right? The world generally is neutral unless you're an asshole, you know, it's karma, bitch, get used to it, right? Uh, you know, if you're, uh, if you reflect positivity into your community, right? You're going to get positivity back. If you listen to people, if you listen to people's problems, if you, then stop them at a point where, you know, they start going down the negative Nancy route, right? Stop them there and say, look, you know, here's your problem or here's your problem. It's not a problem. It's a fucking challenge. Deal with it like a grown up. you know, don't whine and bitch. You know, generally the world is neutral. Be nice to people. Uh, 
And here is a solution or a, you know, maybe um, an idea on how to solve your problem, right? Which isn't a problem. It's a challenge, you know? <laughs> and so uh, as soon as you start to disassociate problems or, you know, as soon as you start canceling, you know, we're in the cancel culture, right? So cancel the world, pro the, the word problem out of your vocabulary and just fucking replace it with challenges. And all of a sudden, everything that gets thrown at you is just that, right? There's nothing you can do about the consequences, but you can approach the challenge in a positive way, or you can approach the problem in a negative way, right? And if you apply this to whatever situation you're confronted with, you're immediately going to see that not only is this downward spiral going to be stopped and potentially even reversed, but that you're actually going to experience an increased quality of life because your thinking starts to become positive the more you repeat the task, right? Uh, the more shit you're confronted with, you know, whatever it may be, right? These, things may, these, these can be positive uh, things that get thrown at you, or these can be negative things thrown at you. And if you treat them, treat the negative things as a challenge rather than the world is against me and it's throwing problems at me, the better your quality of life is going to become. Now that we have that out of the way, um, I think we can pretty much wrap up today's episode uh, because there, you know, every word I would say above this. Um, would kind of ruin the largely and grossly simplified approach I tried to convey. You know, enjoy the present moment for what it is, you know, and if it's not really enjoyable, change something about it. It's up to you. It's your life. You know, we got rules. Yeah, some of them are shitty, but nobody's looking. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in that sense, I hope you uh, have a successful rest of your, of your hump day. And, um, if you've already had a successful hump day, uh, have a good night and we'll be in touch tomorrow for Thursday's episode, which I haven't really decided on the title yet. Bye folks. <laughs>